The BBC has learned that last year a Russian fighter pilot attempted to shoot down a British surveillance aircraft that was carrying dozens of military personnel. The Russian Su-27 jet is similar to the ones that we're showing you here. The Kremlin blamed the incident which happened over the Black Sea on a technical malfunction. Let's take you to our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale who's been looking into all of this. Tell us more about this incident, Jonathan. Well, as you say, the official explanation from the Russians was a technical malfunction, and that was indeed what uh, officially the Ministry of Defence here in the UK accepted from the Russians. Uh, actually, it knew much more. So what I've learned is that two fighter jets were sent to intercept this RAF spy plane that can suck up communications, as you say, has a crew of up to 30 and could have listened in to the communications that could potentially have led to their deaths. One of the pilots of those two Russian jets thought he'd been given permission to open fire. He launched an air-to-air -air missile, but he didn't get a lock on the British spy plane, and it missed. There was then a row between the two pilots. The second pilot did not think they had been given permission to fire. And there was this, including swear words, a row between the two of them. And then the first pilot, the rogue pilot, if you like, fired or released a second missile. That simply just fell off the wing of the aircraft and did nothing. So the explanation from the Russians was it was a technical malfunction uh, from the UK. They accepted uh, that. They did call it potentially dangerous as well. I think the US, though, those leaked documents from the, from the, from the US intelligence officials show that they thought it was a near, in their words, shoot down and very, very scary in the words of a US defence official. So, uh, you know, we haven't been told the whole story here. And I think there are a number of reasons for that. First of all, you know, does Britain want to give Russia all its details about how it gathers intelligence? I think the more important point is that nobody here wanted an escalation because this is the kind of mishap, the miscalculation that could cause a wider conflict. Is this the first time that we've seen a Russian pilot target a NATO aircraft in international airspace, Jonathan? It, it isn't, and, and, and you probably remember earlier this year, there was, again, the same type of Russian fighter that brought down a US uncrewed, a remotely piloted uh, drone that was flying in the same vicinity in the Black Sea, doing, again, surveillance. Um, of course, the stakes weren't as high. That was a, a not a manned aircraft. Uh, nobody uh, was killed in that incident and there wasn't a danger of anybody uh, being killed. But it does show what the West calls the unprofessionalism, the recklessness of Russian air crews. And remember, this isn't something that's just happening over the Black Sea. We've seen similar incidents over Syria with US aircraft, again, being buzzed by Russian jets and making complaints about their professionalism. I think the worrying thing about this one incident is given the war in Ukraine and the spy plane, the British spy plane was there to suck up Russian intelligence and has been patrolling those areas since uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, is that it could have, you know, brought Russia into direct conflict with a NATO member if it had actually shot down that plane. Thankfully, that didn't happen. And it's worth pointing out that Yes, the RAF, one of the few countries that does these manned surveillance missions over the Black Sea, but now they are escorted, those surveillance aircraft, by fighter jets after this incident. Jonathan, thank you.